Hi guys, it's me. Uh, just a little bit of an overview haul here. Um, I don't know, no, it ended April 22nd. Um, Lancome had a great um, promo going on. Uh, I think it was over $35. You had a selection of nine gift items. So as it happened, I had run out of um, a couple of my products. So I'll just start with the first thing that I got, which was, of course, a lot of people's favorite, is the Genifique. Um, I started using this in February and then I stopped using it because I had run out. Um, and then I had taken advantage of um, some free offers. So started using it again and incredibly everybody was, oh my gosh, Carolyn, your skin's looking wonderful, da 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 da. So I attribute it to a combination of um, the Genifique as well as the other item that I had run out, which is the High Resolution Colosser. Um, five times or anyway and this is the intense collagen anti-wrinkle serum so with my skincare routine this this goes on first and I use it in, everywhere other than around my eyes uh, then I use the colosser and then I use the uh, Renergy lift volumetry which is the volumetric lifting and reshaping cream and love this and it's just a very nice creamy um, texture um, and all of these um, settle into the skin just beautifully and uh, probably within two three minutes of putting on the Genifique and the Colosser I can see the difference especially if I've had you know if I've been tired and such um, now this is a sample that I had received from another purchase last year, the Double Performance Treatment Anti-Wrinkle Firming. Um, and I think this is what I'm going to purchase once this has been uh, used up. So, and then for the gift with purchase, I got a little makeup bag, which typically I don't really care for, but it's kind of fun. Um, I chose this time to get the absolute premium three times absolute replenishing cream um, and I don't know if some of you know I travel quite a bit back and forth for work so these are great sizes for me uh, so anyway so I got the replenishing cream and um, Stacy from Jules 123 have been recommending that I try the um, concealer so I decided to take one of those as my uh, one of my choices and this is the protective eye concealer this is just a little mini um, I already have the full size of this but this is the serum of light complexion illuminator um, and again these are just perfect for traveling I chose a little miniature size of the Genifique which I really like because I can refill this and I actually have two or three of these um, which is great um, now a number of people have been recommending that I try the Hypnos Drama um, and I have been using it actually and I do actually quite like this um, to the extent that I actually stopped using my Colossal and what I like about it is the brush and my consultant um, recommended what I should do first is actually close your eyes you coat the inner um, part of your lashes first and then you know go with the regular um, brushing of your lashes um, and I tend to focus mostly on the ends to get the length. I do find that it gives enough drama um, to suit me. Uh, and then I had originally got the one of the juicy tubes for my niece because she loves these. I'd never tried them. And my stepdaughter said, oh, you know, go ahead and try it. Now this one is the ultra brilliant, ultra brilliant lip gloss. And I quite like it. Um, very, It's very natural looking, but just a little more oomph to it. Um, and then you didn't have a choice in this, but this is the, these are so darn hard to open. Anyway, but this is the, um, the shadow set that it came with. And I think there was something else, but it's been mislaid somewhere. Um, so that was my Lancome haul. Oh, no, Fib, one more thing. Uh, this didn't come with this. I purchased this, um... I think it was through QVC or HSM. Um, and this is the color design palette. 
this is the Amethyst Glam 300, and it isn't showing up quite as um, lovely as it is in person. Um, I, I quite I do like it, um, but to be frank with you, and I've been you know a, lo a Lancome lover for many years, I consider them to be rather overpriced. This was about forty eight dollars US. Um, and I can purchase and have purchased other shadows that are equally as good, um, uh, the same pigmentation, same length of you know dur or time that you can wear them. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to repurchase some Lan uh, Lan the Lancome shadows, at least in the palettes anymore. Um, but anyway, that's it for the Lancome haul, and um, I had picked up also. Um, now, a number of people have talked about the uh, Undercover Agent um, Under Eye Brightener and Concealer Duo. Um, I think the last person I, last review I watched was Twilight Joyful. So this is the Undercover Agent. And you have the concealer on the top. And then you just unscrew whoop, this for the tube. And that's your... Uh, Illuminator. Um, I've tried it a couple of times. It's not bad. Not bad. Um, Milani. So I actually picked up the Fantastico Mauve blush. Um, actually, somebody picked it up for me anyway, but I do have it and I do like it. You have to use a really, really light touch with the brush. Um, then I purchased uh, one of the shadows. Uh, I actually have a number of them, but uh, this is the one I have on hand. This is the Pink Twice Metallic Based Eyeshadow, and I wore this yesterday. Um, love it. It's not, you have to really have a go with your brush to get enough, but I um, do like the pigment on that. And then I picked up two of the Milani Eye Pencils, and I'm loving these. Um, this one is, uh, what color? 03 Green, and this is the Color Brilliance Eye Pencil by Milani. And this is a green almost leaning to um, it looks like a sage green on the pencil and it comes up just between a sage and a bit of a line but it's very pretty um, really like that and then this of course is purple and it's almost a violet purple um, and yesterday what I actually did was I wore this on the lid um, I wore this in the crease and on the outer corner and then just a very 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 um, fine line along the lashes and then I wore this just a little bit in the crease and uh, underneath the purple and I really liked the look it was very springy and very happy looking um, so there you go that's just a bit of a haul um, for now I do have some other things I've bought some brushes and some elf things um, and so that'll be coming in a later video um, Anyway, good to see everybody. Uh, hope you're all well. Uh, summer's coming soon. Yay! Um, okay, talk to you guys soon. Bye.